moment of truth, we've been seeing a lot more male clients recently. Part of that's due to our shockwave and the ability to treat the prostate and ED, but this isn't really about the shockwave, so we'll get into that more. I'm really passionate about educating on our own health and bodies because outside of politics and healthcare reform and insurance companies and all of that drama, I feel like the most powerful way to create change is for you to know your own body, to know your things about your own health, and to know about services, products, providers, options for you that are out there so that you can make better decisions. And I had a really interesting conversation with a client yesterday. He has an enlarged prostate and thankfully his urologist um, was very conservative. Uh, admitted that he's not having a lot of other symptoms right now and so it's not smart to do surgery or even be on medications right now and was very 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 supportive of him coming in for pelvic floor therapy and shockwave and so the even better news was that his Christian health share plan is going to cover those treatments because um, it's impacting his prostate and so while I'm thrilled thank you Christian health share um, I'm also very concerned because they were going to completely exclude it if his only need was ED, erectile dysfunction. And so here's why I'm so concerned about that. Again, very grateful for the foresight on prostate and I'm so thrilled to offer services that don't involve medications or needles or surgery, don't have downtime, fast recoveries, all those things. But Let's pretend for just a moment that sex and intimacy and intercourse didn't have a super massive critical role in relationships. Let's just set all the romance and all the relationship pieces aside for right now. We're gonna talk strictly about health and science. Having intercourse, having orgasms is critical for both males and females for their endocrine system for men for their prostate health for women the health of our ovaries our endocrine system our hormone levels better sleep our cortisol levels which is a stress response um, that's involved in the whole endocrine system all of these pieces heart health um, having regular orgasms is linked to lower blood pressure and different things like that that are so common especially with aging and so there are a lot more very critical pieces to our health and to our bodies for having sexual relationships and intercourse that are very valid, are very medically necessary, and are just as important as prostate health and contribute to prostate health. So again, I say all that because I want you to know how to advocate for yourself. and. No, sex is not vital for survival. And when you reach a certain age, it's not necessarily critical. We're not still procreating um, and continuing the species, but it is very vital even after menopause for lots of other health reasons and skin and longevity and pieces that are very valuable and critical to life. And so know that, advocate for yourself, and let's keep educating so that you guys can get the care that you need.